three days ago I opened that gate and they still haven't noticed. Morning world, welcome to Wednesday 30th of August. Yeah, August is nearly done. Um, so my planned work for today has basically been binned. Uh, turns out my second daughter, Emma, bless her, has blown the engine on her car. Uh, we thought it was just the turbo gone. No, 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 she's done the whole thing, blown the engine. So um, obviously she's got a young family and they need, they need transport. So this morning, in about 20 minutes, she's going to be appearing down here with my grandchildren, which she's going to be dumping off with Mrs. P because Mrs. P is working from home today. And I've got to take her car shopping. I get the feeling this could be an expensive day. Anyway, before that, um, I want to let that bunch of cattle in there, which have been chomping their way through my hay, I want to let them out into these paddocks over here. I can't let them near the bull um, because there's three cull cows in there, which are almost, well, they're pretty much dried up. So they're ready to go off to cull. Um, there's a couple of heifers in there which can go to the bull, but not for a couple of weeks yet. So yeah, I need to keep some separation between the main herd down here and them over there. So what we did is I shut the gate into the avenue so the main herd can't come in here and opened the gate into the golf course. Thinking, do you know what? There's plenty of food over there. They got water down here. They got everything they need down here apart from space. Um, so I thought I'll, I'll, they can have the golf course as well, and I've closed the gate over there. Basically, it keeps, just keeps at least a field separation between him and them. That's the plan. They just loiter around by this gate down here. They have not gone over towards the wood and failed the gate open. So we're going to try and entice them, call them, and see if they'll come over there and go, Oh, look, the gate's open. Oh. We've got somewhere we can wander around. We haven't got to look at these four hedges and fences again. Sometimes you just got to show them. And of course, the two collies are delighted to be down here with me. Because there's nothing they like, like, like more than aggravating the cattle. Hello, mate. Right. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. Come up. Come on up. Come up. Come on then. That's it. Follow me. Still plenty of grub out here. I mean, they're not hungry, but they are bored. They soon get bored. Come on up. Come up. Come on then. They don't really want to leave that gate because they want to go back out the barn. But uh, oh, that's all right, they're following me. Come on then. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's Mary. Probably wants her bum scratched. Come on then. Come on. There's an open gate there, you can go through it. Look, three days that gate's been open. Pepper. Come on, back it up, back it up. Back it up. Come on up. 
Come on. Come on, Ep. Come on, Ep. Come on. I might have to come back down with a pair of uh, fencing pliers and just take that bit of word out. I thought they'd go underneath there, but they're not keen. Come on, Ep. Come on, Ep. Come on. Come on, Ep. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I think, I think they got brave. Okay. There's little Brutus. That's it. That's better. <laughs> you got it on you today. <laughs> oh, look at that. So we're fresh to have a run around in. Happy flipping days. Got a stampede on now. Okay, so that didn't go quite as smoothly as I, I had hoped, but the box is ticked. They're out here. Let's pick that up. I don't want that here. Pickle, pepper, behave. Um, yeah. So it just gives them a bit of, uh, like I said, there's, there's no food out here as such, or very little for them to pick out bits, but it just gives them space. Come on, Pepper, leave them alone. Come on, Pepper. See, if, if this was a town you here stood looking at the camera now, I'd probably be papping me knickers because it's like, oh, cattle, oh, they're gonna eat me. They're gonna kill me. No, no, no. No, unless you do something bloody stupid, like shouting and waving your arms and running and stuff like that, they're really not interested in you. They've all gone back to that gate up there. Oh, we can get out. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, oh, bum. All she wants to do is round them up. And, you know, she wants to be a cow dog. Oi, not to be encouraged. Thank you. Thing is though, if you want it as a cow dog, they can't be afraid of them. Come on, you two, here, come on. So, although we don't really want them going up and biting, we also don't want them frightened. Come on. Excuse me, coming through. Mind your backs. Thank you, thank you. Where's Pickle? Pickle! Come on! There she is. Right, we're just going to close that one gate over there and then we're going to let that lot in here. There's no point in giving them all of this because they're just going to tramp it down. So we might just as well strip graze it after a fashion, paddock graze it. So now I've got a field separation between the two. No touchy noses or anything like that. <coughs> so we should, should be safe to let these out here. So, well, as someone quite rightly said, what's the point of me giving them all my winter feed when I've got all this grass? But that's the thing is the bull. So the alternative is, is bring the bull up and shut him in. But right now, 
he's quite a nice sweet tempered chap I reckon shutting him in away from the herd could potentially change that attitude and turn him into a much less sweet tempered unhappy chap I'll leave that one shut a minute it just guides them when they go off for a gallop it guides them that way rather than that way. Oi! Behave yourself, you. <coughs> Pepper, behave. Right, you let them go out. Pepper, pickle, come here. Don't be thick. You got a delicate foot. Hmm. Well, now she runs. I still reckon she's a little bit lame. <laughs> right. Hopefully, fencing is adequate enough to keep them separated. They're just going to move each other across the field now, so I don't mind that. I think they're happy now on a bit of grass. So. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Emma's going to turn up any second. I think I better take my checkbook and wallet out of my pocket. Just been the safe side. I'll tell you what, I will open this gate now so it can come through here. Okay. Pick up. I don't need you out here. Thank you. <laughs> Pepper, pickle, out. Oh wow, here we go. Wacky races. See, you could put a saddle on that, couldn't you? Pickle! Pickle, I know what you're thinking. Pack it in. Pickle. All right, they're calming down now, which is good. So, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do it this morning. That's what's left of their last bale. And I didn't really want to put another one in there, to be honest. So I'd rather keep it for the winter. Better off on the grass for now. Come up. Pepper, where are you? What are you doing in there? Come on. There's an enormous dump in there. Look at the size of it, it's like a pangolin. All right, dark brown pangolin, but it looks like a pangolin, it's huge. Is she here yet? Not yet. Okay, you'll be pleased to know. My mission is to find my daughter a replacement car for the one she blew up last week has been, I believe, successful. And it only cost me the deposit so far. So it is 20 past two in the afternoon. Just had me lunch, um, which is very nice. Cauliflower cheese with a bit of ham. Went down a treat. And now I've got to go to Quedgley up in Gloucester with Transit because one of our regular customers who buys wood chip off me 
and in the past a lot of wood chip off me has asked for a load and I've got nothing particularly better to do for a minute and I could do with earning up a couple of quid back so yeah lads aren't using the truck so I'm having it What are you eating? Get up. Some long bloke has been sitting in here by the name of Martin. Right, well this lot seem reasonably happy, reasonably quiet. No more skipping and mooing. I think you're just glad to be out on some grass, to be honest. Hello, darlings. Hello. You all right? Happy out there, are you? Oh, yeah. Bliss. Right. That ginormous poo is still in there. It's huge. Come on, you. Come on, you're only going to sulk if I don't take you. Come on, up you go, go on, up. Go on, get up. Get up, go on, that's it, that's my, thank you. Go on then. She was determined to get out first, and if I didn't let her, I was just going to fall over, so you might just as well. Come on, you. Right, we're going to Gloucester. Well, not quite Gloucester, just a few miles shy of Gloucester. Hardwick, Quedgley, somewhere in between the two. <laughs> 